What up, people? It's your boy, Master Judy, out here with another comic review. So we got Teen Titans, number 44. And uh, uh, the character assassination of Damien Wayne continues, and it's not a pretty sight at all. You know, it really isn't. And the team is definitely in disarray. Most definitely in disarray. Like, you, you, you've you turned him into a villain. And this is mainly Adam Glass and the rest of them. And not even before then. You got what happened in No Justice. And then the aging of Jonathan Kent. Like, oh, my goodness. But, uh, hey, what can you do? Ah, so let's begin. So as we leave off, we just see that uh, basically Crossroads, yeah. Damian Wayne is about to execute KGB Beast for, you know, we don't know what he's doing because clearly he's saying, oh, you're doing it for Nightwing, but he's like saying, no, I do this for. So Kid Flash rescues uh, Robin, I mean, not Robin, KG Beast. Uh, this is a very good shot right here. And Damien is like saying that you can you cannot run from this kid flash, you cannot run from me. So Punch Crush is like, now we're not running from you. Team decides to take him on. And um, you know, Damien's like saying, I need you all to see the truth. And you know, Damien's taking them all down. KGB Beast manages to get away from uh Kid Flash. He's like You'll be fine in 10 minutes, but Bat Boy, Bat Boy broke it, and soon he break all of you. So, yeah, that's what he's doing it. And he's like saying, pretty much there's no, we're at a crossroads and there's only one path forward, my path. It's like all of the, all of the progression that we saw from Super Sons, the first Teen Titans run, and everything like that has been thrown out the window. And he's like saying, well, you fear my path. It's like you lack conviction. And then I say, maybe, but you lack numbers. And you just see, you know, they hold him. And Robin, and then he gets the headbutt from, yeah, he gets the headbutt from Roundhouse. And, yeah, you've turned him from the villain. Like, so be it then. I was wrong. None of you are ready. This is not a crossroads. It is goodbye. So he gets away. <laughs> and, you know, Pretty much Robin has sent the message underground to the underworld, pretty much, as uh, Red Arrow specifically states. So back at Mercy Hall, we see that uh, we're at the headquarters, and we see Batman basically is investigating the whole place. And, you know, he realizes and collects DNA, and he collects DNA samples and realizes that the match is found for criminals recently reported missing. So Batman now figures out about the special prison. And we just see Gizmos like saying, "Oh, the line has been hasn't been crossed. It's been obliterated." It's like Gizmos right. This changes everything forever. I was on board to take down the Titans before all of this. After they took my mouth, the question is how to handle this escalation. And so, we just see there in New York City the remains of Janice Cosmetics. So this is um, Black Mask saying, "This is personal. Why don't we just do it ourselves together?" It's like because this job it really isn't any of our expertise. And we want the job done right. So we send the best. And since I'm flush with cash these days, we send money, we send the best money can buy. And who better to kill the Teen Titans than Deathstroke? So Deathstroke is back, <laughs> again, with the Teen Titans. <laughs> and that should create problems for Red Arrow. They say, yeah, I've already started the hunt. <laughs> so basically, Crush is trying to find out what the plan is, and we need to find Robin and fix this. The Teen Titans don't kill. I know that better than anyone. And, you know, Crush is like, hey, look, I'm the spawn of a monster, which means I am a monster. And you? You ain't a monster, okay? What happened with Deathstroke? You did what you had to do. It's not the same as what Robin did to Brother Blood. And Red Arrow's like, murder is murder, Crush, and murder is wrong. Meanwhile, you know, Kid Flash and uh, Roundhouse are talking about Robin. And... <laughs> And just say, I want to change things. I want to help people. And I've crossed, I've crossed some lines to do that. I know, but I, I can't. I won't kill anyone. And you know, you know, Kid Flash is showing him that you don't have to, and you won't have to. 
And so, you know, they tell him to move on. So, I mean, people might not like Roundhouse, but he at least has flaws and, you know, recognition and whatnot. So, we just see that um, we're not finding anything but random criminals. I'm happy to pound these idiots, but I think we got to call it. Robert is gone. It's like, let's head back to Mercy Hall. Maybe there's something that will lead us to finding Robert. And if we can't locate him, well, Kid Flash is one of the fastest humans alive. Phil find Robin. Or someone so fast he's sure is slow and asking you out. It's like, why would? And then you know, Crush is pretty much saying he's head over heels for you, Red. Open your eyes and see what's right in front of you. And I could say that the same if you just look at Roundhouse. But that's neither here nor there. But hey, it's Robin. Or Damien. And he just uh, found him. I spent all night in meditation. And that led me back here. I know you're all afraid. Of what you've done. Of what you've become. Of your past. But our future is all that matters. And that future is ours to mold. Brother Burn has called me to kill thousands. I stopped him. Forever. The message has been sent. They fear us now. And I think that is what scares you most of all. And you just see. Here's what I know. Here's what I know. You have us all bugged. You got us all bugged. <laughs> so they don't buy his speech. They beat his ass. And... And basically, and then we get this funny little scene saying, like, heroes don't kill Robin, Robins don't kill. Well, except for that Red Hood guy. Dang. But Kid Flash says, hey, I want to help you, and that's going to have to start by bringing you in. And we just see... <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on with Robin, with Damien. But of course, Batman is here. And just like he told... <laughs> just like he told... Uh, <laughs> Dick Grayson, when the first Titans run was eliminated, he tells them that, yeah, Teen Titans, the Teen Titans are finished. Just like he told Red Hood. He keeps shutting down these projects. Uh, where do I want to end this? Uh, dang. Where do I want to end this? We're just going to have to... For a dynamic pose, yeah, this is probably the best way to end it. Ah, uh, this is I don't know what to say, man. The consistent character demonization and assassination of Damian Wayne doesn't sit well with me. The whole point was him to improve as a character, the whole point was him to grow out of the mold from the League of Assassins, but he's just reverting back to bad habits, reverting back to no longer having good influences, and you know that blame can go around with many writers after me the first medal ended, which is, you know, sad. Really, really sad. Uh, I mean, the story's progressive, progressing well. I'll give this like a 7 out of 10. But, but nah. <laughs> this is not good for, to really, really, really pile on and, and destroy this character. So, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications to make sure you're notified and comment below. And tell me what you think. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to discuss good comics and get your views on them. Thank you all for watching, and I'll have more comic reviews up um, later today or tomorrow. Peace.